commercial graphs allow you to show the spread of data. Basically they're showing you how far the maximum value is from the minimum value and then across string of values. This will work perfectly for the longest axis data. To do dispersion graphs all in one graph, you'll need to first copy and paste the longest axis data to site number one, which I've already done and prepared, all this data here. Site number two, site number three, four, and five. This way we'll be able to see if there's different spreads of data for the bed load along the longest axis. I've also labelled up the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. If you select the data for site 1, press Control, select the data for site 2, keeping Control pressed down, and site 3, and site 4, and site once you've selected all the data, the graphing is actually easy. You can insert a scatter graph. This graph will show you the spread of data for all five of those sites. You can mess around with the graph a little bit, make it look nice. You can change the axis titles. For example, the y axis can become longest axis for bed load and the x axis is the site number and in the chart title the dispersion graph for the longest axis of the bed load resampled you can mess around with the markers and things like that by clicking on them and right clicking on them. However, uh, I think you, you can clearly see that there is a change in the dispersion of the, of the rocks and it also identifies any outliers like that from them. This graph can also be used in conjunction with interquartile range. If we pop it in as a, another chart, new sheet, which stretches it out a little bit to make it bigger. Interquartile range, basically uh, you get 20 values at each site. The interquartile range is the difference between uh, the upper quartile and the lower quartile, or that is how many values are between 75% and 25%. The 20 results is the lower quartile, which is 20 divided by 4, so it would be your fifth result. So for site 1, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That point there, the lowest quartile would be 100 millimetres. The upper quartile, also f um, five results down from the from the top. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Approximately 163. 163 minus 100 will give you 63.